Jake is through. I would love to have a polyester relationship with Amy and Erica. Do you mean polyamorous or do you mean polyester? What's polyester? Hundred dollars, eat the steak. I'll give you a hundred dollars, all ones, right now. What you gonna do? You gonna eat it or what? He said, yeah, we eat it. <laughs> what you gonna do? Put it in your pocket, just wait for later. Let me see it. I can't even see it. Oh, you try to wash it down with the soda, you cheating too, <laughs> bitch. Okay. Large snake. <laughs> let me see. Let me see if it's going. <laughs> let me see if it's going. <laughs> you tell me you cannot. You close the door. Just say hello to the camera your brain is stop you sit i cannot hold the beat well, you can do whatever you want hello. you can say the wall you want to see my health is better than that you need to drink okay. water because your feet smells like disgusting you can say the wall my my, my health is better than the wall <laughs> disturbing video as police rescue two small children discovered locked in a cage the two adults who live there now behind bars themselves thanks for joining us at six i'm brian loftus i'm denise valdez eight news now investigator david charns first told you about those arrests now he has video you're seeing first on eight news now david and we do want to warn you that this video is hard to watch police say they found six children all under the age of 11 all showing signs of child abuse two locked in that cage and one of them with injuries so bad police say his father thought the boy was dead hey it's metro police we just want to make sure everything's okay a metro police officer's body camera rolls as she and her partner try to get into this extended state unit can we get a third unit to our location officers are outside the door on valley view near flamingo after meeting up with 33 year old amanda stamper and 31 year old travis doss at this store across the street according to grand jury transcripts stamper told police doss had sent her a photo of his 11 year old son saying he believed he had beaten the child child so hard he was deceased inside this cage she already talked to your parents okay you need to open the door so we can talk to you officers are talking to a child behind the door who refuses to remove the security chain you can hear the small voice we want to make sure you guys aren't hurt I can't leave until I physically see you, sweetie. Please answer the door. After about 10 minutes, a maintenance worker convinces the child to let the officers in. The adults cross the threshold, finding the six children alone, two padlocked in a small cage. Hey, guys. <laughs> Officers struggle to open the lock. Nine, sweetie. Okay. Cutting it and freeing the two young boys. One badly beaten and severely malnourished with swollen eyes, open wounds, and scars. Police lead the children into daylight. Several of the six telling police their father said never open the door for strangers. It's okay. I'm okay. It's okay. The badly injured child saying on video he hadn't eaten in days and that his father would hit him with belts cords and according to police this pan a detective telling the grand jury he kept saying that he was always hungry that he needed big food because he was a big boy now and that he would have to share like one large fry from mcdonald's with his six siblings a prosecutor to a detective did the 11 year old mention to you how often he was locked in the dog cage he said all day every day he said too long not a bad kid this is just a really crappy situation okay and we're gonna get you some help and this is not gonna happen again that child's her